So I really hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. In a couple of my previous videos, I mentioned that Instagram is making the big shift from being photo based to being video based. And a lot of people, maybe you don't believe me because like I just said, there's a lot of misinformation and people who claim that they have an insider at Instagram. Well, here it is straight from the horse's mouth. This is Adam Mosseri, who is the head of Instagram. Take it away, Adam. But today I actually want to talk a bit more about video. And I want to start by saying we're no longer a photo sharing app or a square photo sharing app. The number one reason people say that they use Instagram in research is to be entertained. So people are looking to us for that. So actually this past week in our internal all hands, we shared or I shared a lot about what we're trying to do to lean into that trend, into entertainment and into video. Because let's be honest, there's some really serious competition right now. TikTok is huge, YouTube is even bigger, and there's lots of other upstarts as well. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Instagram is no longer a photo sharing app. Now, that doesn't mean all of a sudden the photos are gonna disappear overnight because that would be something too drastic and it would be too much of a shock for the Instagram users, but they are phasing out photos because they want to be a video app. Like he said, TikTok is a video app. You don't just post photos on TikTok. YouTube is so popular. YouTube is a video app. They need to compete, so they need to change with the times. Now let's talk about what that means to creators like us and what we can do to not be left in the dust. So let's think about how we got to this moment in time. Many of us, myself included, have noticed a very sharp drop in engagement, a sharp drop in reach. You're just not getting those likes, the comments, the way you used to. Now, if Instagram is trying to move us into a video direction, are those two things related? I mean, we've all seen the reels where somebody's account will have, let's say, 10,000 followers, which is great. And then they have reels that have something like half a million plays. Now, what better way to push people into a video direction than to give people these huge number of plays and at the same time, their photo posts aren't doing as well. Are those two things connected? It's definitely motivating to push you to be making more reels and more video if you see that you're getting, you know, 100,000 views on your reels, but when you post a photo, you're only getting a couple likes and a couple comments. That'll really make you just spend your time making videos, which is exactly what they want. I'm not saying that it's a big conspiracy, I'm just saying one plus one is two. Another way that they're pushing people into video is you're gonna now see recommended posts on your feed, even from people that you don't follow. Yes, I'm not talking about the explore page, I'm talking about your normal news feed. You're gonna be seeing videos from people that Instagram thinks you will find interesting and nine times out of 10, this is gonna be a video. So. What does that mean? There's less time for you to see the people that you actually follow, less time for you to see photos, which is more of a motivation to push people into doing video. I think it was a really big step and I actually do admire his transparency that he admitted that TikTok and YouTube are doing it better than Instagram. They're nurturing the video creator and they're making it a much more entertaining platform. He said their number one uh, key metric is entertainment. Don't ask me how they judge who's entertaining and who's not. I think that's kind of weird, but Instagram wants entertaining content. And in their mind, a photo is not entertaining. A video is entertaining. It would not at all surprise me if within one to two years, photos maybe aren't gone from the app, but are in such an obscure place on the app that it's not the first thing that you're going to look at. You know how the IGTV tab kind of isn't used as much and it's off to the side. I really feel like they're gonna put photo posts off to the side somewhere and every time you open the app, you're gonna open onto reels, you're gonna open onto the people that you follow's videos. Even if the video isn't the most recent thing that they've done, you're gonna be opening onto videos the same way on TikTok and on YouTube, you're immediately shown videos that your favorite people have created and sometimes people that you don't even follow. So what does that mean for us as creators? Well, there's good news for some of us and there's bad news for other, other of us. Let's say for example, you are a food creator. Most of your content was probably video anyway. So this is a great development for you. Let's say you are, uh, you know, into video games and you're showing videos 
from video games and how to pass a certain level, you've been posting videos already, this is great for you. This means your content is gonna be prioritized. You can just keep doing what you're doing. You can go between doing just video posts and reels, IGTV. This is all really good news for you. However, those of us, myself included, this is where I fall in, who really got to this point, um, I think I have 123,000 followers. I got to this point doing photo posts. So for me, I have to really change my tactics and you might be the same way. If you wanna show off one outfit in a certain place and you're used to taking a great photo, you go home and you edit it, you get all the colors right, you just put in all that work to a photo post that probably now isn't gonna get as much love as it used to get. So now you're gonna have to just shoot that as a video. And yeah, it takes time to edit a video, but it takes time to edit the photo too. So here's an example of a photo that I took in this outfit and then a reel that I put up that I'm wearing the same outfit, but I mixed in a couple other elements into it. That's as simple as it gets. That's kind of what needs to happen. That's kind of the change that you need to make. Instead of going around taking your photos in these outfits, trying to get a background, trying to get your nice pose or whatever, just do a video. Now, the good thing is you can do these videos with your phone. Not everything needs to be Steven Spielberg level productions, but Bring your phone around, videotape everything because those video posts are now what Instagram wants to see. This is why I say in so many of my videos, record everything. I mean, the time where you're looking around for that location to take the perfect photo or to take the perfect video, videotape the whole journey there and the whole journey back because you will be sitting at home one day and you don't have anything to post to get a video up. You can take little clips from the taxi ride, the subway ride, sitting in the restaurant before you went to shoot. You can take little pieces of that and piece together a reel and you don't know what's gonna explode. We all have had videos where you didn't think it was that great, but then all of a sudden it does really well. I used some little clips from just hanging out in the swimming pool and the fact that it started raining and it was one of my most popular reels. So videotape everything because you will probably use it. Also, remember that reels and video content on any platform is driven by shareable and savable content. The reason that a lot of cute videos and a lot of food videos and stuff like that do so well is because people save them and people share them. People save that recipe so they can look at it again when they cook it and they probably watch it multiple times. People send the cute cat videos to their mom and to their grandma. So while you're making these videos, Think about, is this gonna be entertaining enough? Because remember that, that keyword he said, entertaining, that somebody's gonna wanna share and save it. Is there something in here that's so cool, somebody's gonna wanna look at it again later? You have to hook people at the beginning. That is what you should be spending your time thinking about. Not if you have on the perfect outfit, if your hair looks the way that you want it to. I know so many people who don't wanna go out and shoot content because their haircut isn't the way they want their haircut to be that day. Nobody cares. People are making videos in their pajamas doing something. People want that real human connection. You just gotta think how to make it so captivating in the first couple seconds that's gonna get people to watch and then Instagram will spread your content and recommend your content. This is a journey that you and I watching this, I mean, if you're on YouTube watching this right now, you're definitely into video as well, but this is a journey on Instagram that a lot of us are gonna be taking together because Instagram started as a photo app and a lot of us are just used to that. So having to shift your mindset into how can I make a video out of this situation? How am I gonna edit something into 15 seconds? Seconds to be interesting with what music it does require you to kind of shift gear so it's definitely a journey we're gonna be making together myself included there's nothing wrong with looking at what is working on Instagram and TikTok. reels that you see are getting 1 million plays if you can do something similar to that there ain't no shame in it so if you just need some ideas and you don't know what to do look at people who are in the same category as you doing something similar and Basically, model your video after that. I mean, whoever started the video trend with uh, the changing outfits when you snap your fingers, walking across your room and the outfits change, then everybody started doing it. And now Instagram recommends one video after the other. So you wanna get your video in there too. So there's nothing wrong with seeing where the trends are and doing that. Now, there could be some workarounds as far as if you're a photographer, if you just really love photos and that is your main passion and you don't really have that same passion for creating videos, 
I'm sure that there are gonna be workarounds as far as like making a video slideshow. You can take 10 of your best pictures from one photo shoot and put it into a video set to some music. That's technically a video even though you're using still photos. So I think that's still gonna be a way for us to show the photos that we love and still be moving with Instagram into the future, which is video. So if you haven't already, please take a second to hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far. I made this channel to show you how to take better photos, take better videos, master your social media and show you some of the content that I create when I'm traveling, when I'm working for brands and stuff like that. So a lot of cool stuff to come. Leave a comment with anything you'd like to see in a future video and hopefully I can get to that. And in the meantime, please take care and stay safe guys and go out and make some videos later.